Hi everyone, this is Larian Chua. Our topic for today is uh, vasovagal syncope. Vasovagal syncope is the common cause of fainting. It is defined as a loss of consciousness caused by a sudden drop in the heart rate and blood pressure which causes less blood flow to the brain. It is harmless and no treatment is required, but tests are recommended to rule out serious causes. The two main causes are cardiac arrhythmia and neurocardiogenic syncope. Among the arrhythmias, cardiac arrhythmia, usually ventricular tachycardia, is the culprit. Another cause is neurocardiogenic syncope, also known as neurally mediated hypertension, the fainting reflex, vasodepressor syncope, or autonomic dysfunction. In this, the blood vessels expand, leading to pooling of blood in the lower parts of the body. As a result, less blood reaches the brain, and this causes fainting. Why does an upright posture trigger syncope? Usually for normal individuals, standing up causes blood to pool in the legs and the return of the blood to the heart is decreased. To compensate, the body releases adrenaline, the heart beats faster and forcefully pumping blood to the vital organs such as the brain. Those with neurocardiogenic syncope, the reduction of blood return triggers a miscommunication between the heart and the brain. The brain sending a message that the heart should slow down and the blood vessels in the arms and the legs should dilate. The common triggers for vasovagal syncope include standing for long periods of time, heat exposure, the sight of blood, having blood drawn, fear of bodily injury, straining such as to have a bowel movement. In most cases, treatment is unnecessary, but doctors may try the following remedies. Blood pressure medications such as metoprolol to treat high blood pressure and block the signals that lead to fainting. Selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors or antidepressants like paroxetine, fluoxetine, and sertraline. Blood vessel constrictors to treat low blood pressure and asthma are sometimes helpful in preventing it. Therapy should aim at stopping the pooling of blood in the legs. This may include foot, foot exercises, wearing elastic stockings, increasing fluid intake, avoiding alcohol as this dilates the veins and arteries, reducing caffeine intake, tensing your leg muscles when standing, increasing salt in the diet which helps retain fluids in the blood vessels and avoiding prolonged standing especially in hot and crowded places. Surgery may be needed such as the insertion of pacemaker which helps regulate the heartbeat but the best cure is prevention so that if you feel like you might faint lie down and lift your legs. This allows gravity to keep flowing to your brain. If you can't lie down, sit down and put your head between your knees until you feel better. Helpful maneuvers when standing up include standing with one's legs crossed, squatting, standing with one leg on a chair, bending forward from the waist, Sitting in the knee chest position, sitting in a low chair, leaning forward with hands on knees when sitting, 
elevating the head of the bed at night by 10 to 15 degrees and wearing waist high support hose for stockings so that's it for me and i hope to see you soon